So where we last left off, we made five drawings with the upper die subassembly, but we have yet to make one of these views. So what I'm going to do now is go into New Presentation and make a new view based off of the upper die subassembly. Click on Tweak Components, click on any surface to set the vector down, and now it shows that anything I click on to drag will move in the Z direction. Well, the first thing that I need to do is take this screw out. So pull it down, select clear. Once that's out, then other things can move. So again, put your vector down on something. In this case, I want it to move in the X direction, so I select X. That highlights blue. And I can click and drag this ring down. Clear. You can even put it on the actual part so long as it's facing the right direction. Remember to select clear between each one of these. Okay, this time I want to pull this pin off and it's going to be in the Y direction, so I select Y click and drag with that off I can pull out this pin and this spring This little screw needs to come out. And I think I'm going to move all of these pieces at once down just a little bit to see them a little better. Let's go to an isometric view. And this is upside down for some reason. So let's flip this. Well, I'll reset this as front. I set this as the home view, and we can save this. Upper die subassembly. This is the first presentation file we've created, so it looks like this folder is blank, but it's not. And now that we have this drawing we can go straight into our uh, now that we have the presentation we can go back to our drawing go to place views new sheet and for our base we can select this view make sure you choose an isometric view so you can see the parts better and we'll put in one with it taken apart one with it assembled together again selecting isometric views and I'll go back and make this shaded we need a parts list I want it to reference the assembly file select OK Alright, and this is looking okay, except I have some parts on here that need renamed. And I don't want a description, I actually want what material type it's made out of. So I'm going to go to my column chooser, remove description, and instead put in material. and for some reason I didn't add the material. So let's go back to that again. Select material, add, OK. Select OK. And let's see how this compares to the other file of ours. There we 
you go. Um, we may need to put balloons on here first. To add on balloons, you select the button that says balloon. Click once on where you want the arrow to be. Once on where you want the balloon to be. Right click and select continue. some reason, and it may just be that I clicked on the wrong part, but it's not. It thinks that this and this are the same thing. So I may have to uh, see what I can do to modify that. It's very confused. It thinks there's two of them and that it varies with material type. I'm actually not sure how to go back and change that because this is something that should not be. So uh might be able to override that. Let's see if we can call this 10. and see if we might be able to add an extra column. There we go. So we're going to have to give that a name We'll check back with our drawing here. Uh, looks like the piece that I need is number six, which is called upper die outer ring. And upper die outer ring is made of steel. We have some other custom parts on here that we did not make. So like this screw here, number 10, is quarter 20, 316 socket head screw. So that was number 5 go back and rename that. Number four on here was another little screw. It's number eight which is the 832 by 0.07 screw. And this is kind of painstaking for you to watch, so I'm just going to pause and come back and show you what it looks like after. But all I'm doing is I'm checking what part number from item number here matches with what I have on the things up here. I'm putting the proper name with it instead of just part 19, part 22, part 30. I am also going to go back uh, I see that there's spring steel and aluminum for some of these things and I need to go and change the material type here so it matches what I have in this sheet. Okay, you can see the things that are in blue are things that I changed and I did have to go back and update the quantity on this one just because uh, we had to add in that extra number 10 which I'm not sure why it's not showing now but uh, we did add an extra number to this and we want it to show one instead of two. So select OK.
and you're brought back to this view which shows all of the uh, balloons that we need to make this part and let's try and make this a little bigger if we go half scale here and then show the scale on the drawing itself I can adjust a couple of these balloons in Now, if someone were to get this as pieces in a box, they'd have a better idea and they'd be able to see the picture better of uh, how to put it together. i show the scale on that one as well. Put in your name. Put in the title. And now you're all done. You only need six sheets for this particular drawing.